Alright, today we are going to be looking at the difference between uh, lists, tuples, sites, and dictionary in uh, in Python. So, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video so that you get notified when I make new lessons and also you encourage me to continue making these lessons. So, lists, tuples, sites, and dictionary is equivalent to collections in other programming languages. So the question is, what is the difference between them? Why this is necessary is because there is so much similarity between these items, especially for the first three, list, tuple, uh, tuple and say. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to create them and then mention the differences between them. So I have created the first one. This is a list and this list is comma separated items uh enclosed in square braces so the key word you need to take away from here is square braces so that is one thing you that you need to know about a list is enclosed in square braces let's focus on the differences and later we talk about the similarities so uh when you are creating a list you can even put any other item inside of a different data type so it's going to work so if I go ahead to run this, so right click and then run collections, it's going to work, pro, uh, process finished. All right, let me adjust this, just give me a second. All right, so you can also go ahead to say print list one. So if I print this one, you can see that it prints it out to the output. You can see uh, it prints out everything. So let's look at the other item, and that will be tuple. Let's look at tuple. Tuple is also a list of items separated by comma. So let's create a tuple, uh, tuple one. In fact, let's just copy this list and then make the changes that is going to make it into a tuple. So let's just call it tuple one. So at this point, why can we say this is a tuple? Of course, this is still a list, even if we gave it name tuple one. A tuple is enclosed in in rounded braces, right? And enclosed in rounded braces. So if we enclose a list of items in rounded braces, uh, the compiler understands that you are creating a tuple. So let me just enter it here. The keyword is rounded braces so this is a tuple and this is a list and the same operation print tuple one is also going to print exactly the same thing so let's go ahead to run it and see so if you look at the output you see that there is actually no difference but i'm now telling you that one key difference is that a tuple is enclosed in rounded braces while a list is enclosed in square braces Another another difference you need to know is that a tuple is immutable, right? A tuple is immutable. Say it again three times. A tuple is immutable. A tuple is immutable. A tuple is immutable. And that means that if you create a tuple, you cannot change the items in a tuple. Let's take, for instance, we have... Let's change the first item in the list from computer to PC. So let's say list one list zero because zero is the first item is equal to pc so if we let's put this line of code just uh, before printing it out so in this line we are changing list zero to pc and if we run it you can see that in the output the first item now is a pc instead of a, a computer so it actually works let's try to do the same thing in a tuple and see if it's going to work so let's say tuple one tuple zero i mean is equal to pc so this actually it is not going to work i'm going to write it out not going to work the reason is because tuples are immutable so let's run it and see what is going to tell us so if i run it it gives us an error that says type error tuple object does not support item assignment so 
in your interview or in some quiz, you might be asked the difference between a list and tuple. Just say tuple are immutable and you are going to uh, get a hundred percent in this interview or quiz you are going to you are going for. So let's look at the next item and that will be sets. Uh, sets, the keyword in this case is uh, uh, is curly braces. So it's beautiful how Python uh, helps us to understand the difference between uh, the, the items in the programming language very easily. So, and that is why they say Python is the easiest uh, programming language to work with. And I think that is true. So we are going to now create a site. And this time, let's call it site one. But now the syntax for creating a site is a bit uh, different. So in case of creating a site, we are going to use the, the site keyword. Yeah, so this is what we are going to use. So we are going to use the site keyword. Uh, let's see. I think that is correct. So let's take out this that causes error. And then let's run this and see. Good. So in creating a site, is it is not really curly braces. Curly braces apply to dictionary. Sorry, sorry if I'm confusing you. So a site uses the site's keyword, right? So it uses the site keyword. So uh, it uses the set keyword and then it it's now encloses everything inside uh, Angular braces and also a curly braces. So if I run it, it runs fine. So let's try to remove the internal uh, square braces in there and then go ahead to run it and it gives us an error. Let's read the error message there. It says, say, expect at most one argument and got six, right? Good. So it has paid to have, so it's more like you are giving it a single list, a single list of items. So it runs fine. So I'm going to print this site and you see that there is no much difference between uh, this and the three. So the key thing in, in site is that site uses the site keyword right yeah so if i run it you can see that it also runs perfectly and displays everything but take note of the difference you can see site actually displayed the output using curly braces so give me a sec let's try to play a game now so let's change to curly braces and you can see that if i run it it doesn't work so it only gives the output in curly braces but it requires the input to be in square braces and in inner rounded braces. So I hope this has been clear. So let's run it to make sure it's okay. So the next thing we are going to talk about is dictionaries. Yeah, dictionaries is a bit different and clear from all these other items. So dictionary is created in a bit different way because dictionary is made up of uh, is made up of of key value pairs, right? So it's made up of two and two items per entry in a dictionary, more like your real dictionary that you use. You have word and you have definition. You have word, you have definition. So that is how dictionary works. You use key value pair in a dictionary. So let's create one just to see how it works. So let's say dict one is equal to so to create a dictionary, the first thing you do is start in this way. So you now specify the key value pair inside. So let's say we are creating the day names, day one to be uh, Monday, right? So let's, the next line, I, I actually will use integers here. So I'm going to use integers to represent the key. So the item in the first part is the key and the next part of the item is the value, right? So at this point, if I run it, oh, it tells a syntax error, why? I think it should be a comma, right? Let's see. Okay. So, 
two seconds. So, um, okay, where is the problem coming from? Hmm. Let's see, I think, yeah, it, it, I think it should be a column. Yeah, this is a, the right syntax, but for each item, you must use a comma to separate. So let's enter the third item, number three. Ah, uh, it's white, the whiteness day. Right, so if I run it, it runs perfectly, right? So this is how you create a dictionary. So to assess the items of the dictionary or to print out the dictionary, you can just say print dict1. And let's see what goes. Yeah, uh, it prints almost the same way. So you can see one Monday, two Tuesday, and three Wednesday. Let me now give you something you need to know about the dictionary. The keys of the dictionary, which is the first item specified, they are immutable just like a string. So meaning that you cannot change the first the, the key in the first item in a dictionary. But you can actually change the values that are specified. So we have key, value, the keys are immutable and they are also unique. So you can have two keys having the same name. So I hope this has been clear. Um, if it's not, just uh, let me know in the comment box below. And I would like to thank you for viewing. Uh, if you look at this description box, you, it, you'll see a link to explanation of this. You can actually print out and take some time to read and understand it a little more. Remember to subscribe. Remember, remember to leave a comment to let me know your observations. And I would like to thank you for viewing. And we'll see you in the next lesson.